It's worth remembering the absolutely extraordinary and gripping events that unfolded in the wake of the bombing of the, at the end of the, of the Boston Marathon on April the 15th uh, and the shootouts, the car chases, the carjackings, the subsequent killings uh, that, that occurred during that period. So I think it should become as no surprise to anybody that Jokar Sarnayev is facing a total of 30 charges, which range from the use of what is described as a weapon of mass destruction, those two pressure cooker bombs that were used uh, at near the finish line of the marathon and all the way through carjacking through the multiple firearms charges and so forth uh, it is a very long uh, set of, uh, of charges against him uh, any combination of them could put him in prison for the rest of his life uh, that is if the prosecution don't choose to pursue the death penalty something we don't yet know uh, but it is a, a, a distinct possibility uh, we're learning a little bit more in the course of this uh, press conference and the uh, and, and looking at the the indictment about uh, the some of the, the particular details for example at the very end you'll remember that Jokar Sarnayev was found hiding out in a boat in someone's backyard in a suburb of Boston and, and on the inside of that boat he is said to have scrawled the following words we Muslims are one body you hurt one you hurt us all uh, stop killing our innocent people and we will stop uh, a little insight into what was going on there in the final hours uh, just before Jokar Sarnayev was captured. And a very strong sense there, Paul, of the, with the sheer number of people involved in that news conference of how all of the agencies that have been working on this case are pooling their resources and coming together to try to bring about a successful prosecution. One of the district attorneys uh, talking about, uh, of course, Tamerlan uh, Zarnayev, who died having already gone to... to, to uh, meet whatever justice he would face, but saying for his brother, Jakar Zarnayev, accountability will begin right here in Massachusetts. Yeah, I mean, this was an enormous uh, multi-agency operation from the beginning. Those of us who were there recall the convoys of vehicles of all sorts of uh, law enforcement agencies that were flying around the city in an attempt to bring the situation under control and a great deal of police work has gone on subsequently you'll recall uh, the uh, the uh, arrest of and shooting of uh, a uh, an individual down in Florida who was said to have been an associate uh, of Tamil and Sarnayev, an indication there that the investigation into these two brothers was ranging far and wide the suggestion also that one or both of them may have been involved in a particularly gruesome uh, gangland style murder uh, uh, somewhat earlier and so this has uh, been uh, uh, there's been an awful lot of work that's gone into this uh, drawing up of these charges we're not hearing anything about those wider implications at the moment but I dare say some of that may come out in the process uh, of what is likely to be a, a very complicated and perhaps quite lengthy trial